Every two years, NBJ elects a new board to serve as members. Tonight, I present to you NBJ President-elect Bob Butler. I couldn't resist. Boy, oh boy. Good evening, NABJ founders. I'm not gonna ask you to stand anymore. <laughs> Full members, associate members, our student members, our partners, NABJ friends, you are our NABJ family. I am humbled and honored that you have trusted me to lead our NABJ into our 40th anniversary. I want to thank my wife, Lois Butler. I know y'all are fine in here, but she's the finest one in here. <laughs> and my son, Robert Henry Stevenson Butler III, who came all the way from California to be here. I'm so proud. He's single, by the way. Um, <laughs> and my many supporters. Um, I got to give a couple of shout outs. Greg Morrison, Charles Robinson, Deirdre Childress Hopkins, Vince Hill, Nikki Mayo, Aaron Morrison, and of course, Ms. Georgia Dawkins. I want to thank our sponsors and our corporate partners who help us find jobs for black journalists. By the way, um, I got a call today about somebody looking for a, uh, a male reporter, at least three years experience, good storyteller. If you're interested, hit me up. I also want to thank Sarah Glover. She and her team ran a fantastic race. Of course, Gregory H. Lee Jr., also known as Pookie. Our outgoing board members, our staff, and Executive Director Maurice Foster. I congratulate your new board and tonight's special honorees for this, their excellence and the example they've set for all of us. NABJ's at a crossroads. We can dwell in the past or we can move forward. That's right. I choose to move forward. Will you? It's time to put aside the petty politics that have become a distraction. Our NABJ just does not deserve that. We can do great things and reach new heights if we all work together. Our newsrooms must reflect the communities they serve. I challenge our news media partners to make sure there is diversity in the rank and file and in management. We want to help you. So I plan to implement the NABJ CARES membership database by the end of the year. This way, when one of our corporate partners has an opening, their only option will not be to call Greg or me for resumes. I believe our students are the future of the organization. This week, numerous young journalists came up to me when I was trying to get their vote and said, Bob, it's a no-brainer. You helped me find a job. You mentored me. You gave me a swift kick, something that I needed. So I challenge each veteran member to do the same thing. Find two students who want to do what you do and help them. We have, a lot of, we have a lot of work to do. We have to talk about our finances, our operations, and how we, how we conduct our business. And we're going to do that starting tomorrow. I'm going to close by stealing a few lines and a few slogans from my fellow board members. Our members matter, so we, your board, will not quit on you. At the end of this term, <laughs> I had to say it, your spidey sense will tell you that this board did it. Thank you very much. We're almost.